it's not closure I'm looking for, it's who did this to him. This week marks 20 years since Nick Pallone was murdered in his Youngstown home. Now his murder remains unsolved. His mother's never stopped trying though, and she's looking for answers again. And the Youngstown Police Department is now re-examining the case. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed looked in how this could move the case forward. Molly joins us live in the studio. The anniversary of a loved one's death or their birthday can lead friends and family to start thinking about that person. For Kathy Perla, it's the unanswered question of who killed her son and why it happened. Nick Pallone was murdered 20 years ago this week. Now his mom is hoping a reward will lead someone to come forward with new information on this cold case. It's been 20 years, but Kathy Perla's mission to find her son Nick's killer will not end until someone is caught. I'm offering a $5,000 personal reward for the arrest and conviction. Crime Stopper still has a reward. I'm hoping the money would motivate somebody. Kathy now lives in Arizona, but has come back to Youngstown looking for answers. Nick was 18 years old when he was shot on May 9, 1997. He was a new father and had a new wife, Michelle. Nick's wife, Michelle, said on the night of May 9th, she was out getting pizza for dinner. And when she returned to her home here on East Florida Avenue, she found Nick on the floor with a gunshot wound, and she said it looked like it was suicide. But when police got to the scene, no gun was found. And the coroner said based on where the gunshot wound was found, suicide was impossible. Police looked at his wife, Michelle, as a person of interest. But there was really never enough evidence to do anything about it. Uh, there was a lie detector test taken that this person failed, but you can't use that in court. Just because we have a person of interest, I can't say that person's guilty. I can't, but it, it was the strongest lead at that time, and today it's still the strongest lead. 20 years later, Captain Brad Blackburn with Youngstown Police is working with Kathy on the case again. He said detectives have questioned Michelle recently, but she stuck to the same story. Without having that missing piece, uh, you know, linking that person. It, we can't go any further with it at this time. Kathy hopes her new reward will motivate someone to come forward who may know what actually happened that night. I'm just hoping that, I don't know, that, that somebody will, will see the pain that, that the family's been through in the last 20 years and, and just come forward. Now, if you have any information about Nick Pallone's murder, call Youngstown Police. Now, in 1997, the year of Nick's death, there were 42 homicides in the city. With that many murders, it was hard for detectives to solve all of the cases, and a lot of them are still open today. Tonight at 11, we'll take a deeper look at other murders and explain how police are trying to get answers to crimes that happened 20 years ago. In the studio, Molly Reed, 27 Investigates. And if stories like this get you thinking, are there any other unsolved murder cases in Youngstown? Yes, there are, and you can read about those at WKBN.com.